Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Super Flat World Challenge. Uh, 1.2 has been out for about a week now, and I'm going to play some Super Flat World Challenge. Uh, must be converted. Right, let's see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't ruin it. This might take a while, so I'm going to edit this part out. All right, we're back in the 1.2 Nether. Uh, let's see. I I want to go back to the portal and return to the overworld. And I'm not sure. I must have come from this direction. I will return to fight zombie pigmen at some point. That's well, a good thing they're not aggro right now. Oh, hold on. I forgot what my settings were at. It's a good thing that they're not aggro at this moment. Though I suppose we could change that. Look at them, they're so dumb. I wonder if they got a new pathfinding thing. Like the other mobs. I kind of doubt it. The nether tends to get neglected. In case you can hear the lava popping, if you listen. Hopefully you go... Ah, come on. Give me a break. Are they wearing Speedos? I just noticed that it looks like they're wearing tight brown Speedos. That's kind of weird. What in the world? Oh. Oh, okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Oh boy. Now, I don't expect uh, jungle biomes to appear at all in the flat world. I don't think the uh, terrain generation for this map type has changed at all. But I do want to see how I fare against... Uh, the new AI. Where is that town? There it is. See, apparently it's supposed to be more difficult. And this being hardcore mode, hold on. Okay, yeah, difficulty hardcore, so... It's locked in at the hardest difficulty, so that should mean zombies can break down wooden doors. That's really what I want to see. And I'm sure you've got, you guys have, uh seen more than your fair share of 1.2 updates. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Oh, I need to eat. What I'm doing is I'm just checking it out. How much more difficult it is in 1.2 to do this challenge. I'm going to kill these cows. Do I need to? I don't think so. So I'm going to head off and whoa, that was weird, in this direction. Until I find a new town, or until it gets night. Alright, so we have another new town here. That I don't think, yeah, I have not been here, but I'll take the subsidian. I have no idea what I could, I would ever need it for now that I have the one nether portal. I don't see why I would need two nether portals. 
But obsidian's rare enough to where I would collect it anyways. And while we're here, just get some gold ingots from these nuggets. Didn't get too much from there, but that's still quite a lot easier than hunting down these villages. Certainly less time consuming. And I have not ever seen a iron golem since the 1.2 update came out. From what I understand, each village is supposed to have one, but I see zero. I don't know if you need to have a new village be generated. That seems likely, but I thought that they were just supposed to spawn. We'll see if they come at night as the dusk is breaking, but I want to get it a safe place. I want to see what these these guys do. It looks like they're scattering. And I'm going to get into one of those houses too. Pick this one over here, I think. Oh, hold on. Who's... Whoa! That's interesting. Oh, they're running away. Oh, don't come after me. Oh, cool. They... He keeps after him. It doesn't come after me. I'm going to go in here, though. I guess they'll try and... But there's a lot of these purple guys here. Uh, slimes, why are you so annoying? You guys thought you were safe? Yeah, right. Well, these guys take a lot of arrows. I don't know. I don't know that I want to waste my arrows like that. I've encountered this once before, where for some reason the torches don't illuminate here. Okay, well this is getting boring pretty fast. I was hoping to find an iron golem and see if that would make it feasible to... Ow! Come on, what the hell? Are you just hanging out? What? Who's there? My thought was that iron golems would oh too what the oh I thought that was a baby zombie. That iron golems would uh make it safer to stay in NPC villages. There's a skeleton, isn't there? But yeah, if I don't see any iron golems, so it's not really any safer in these villages. So I'm going to head back to the... Oh, come on. I'm going to head back to the Flat World HQ. Well, here's an iron golem. And I want to see him in action. Ugh. He tossed that zombie right at me. Uh, stay away. Do 
This poor iron golem is just overwhelmed. <laughs> He's not going to be able to protect everyone. Yeah, I'm going up here. Screw off, you creeper. This is a real mess over here. So lots of mobs. Well, that's interesting, but it doesn't really look like the iron golems make these NPC villages any safer. So I'm going to head back to this uh the Flat World HQ. And you know, I think I should try and crap kill this Enderman. So I want to try and make uh, Eye of Ender and see if I can find see if there is an actual nether or not nether uh, if there's just strongholds in the flat world. I think that the definitive way to figure that out is by using Eye of Enders but he didn't drop a pearl so Oh well. But I'm going to go back into the nether and get some more gold nuggets. And I'll be doing that for a little while, but not for the rest of this series because that's not very interesting. So whenever it starts to feel like it's uh, not interesting anymore, I'll stop collecting gold nuggets from zombie pigmen and start exploring the super flat world for our new NPC villages and alternate back and forth depending on uh, whether or not it's getting tiring or uninteresting it's a very cool concept that I can in fact uh, go into the nether and kill zombie pigmen but it's ultimately it's not very interesting to watch three or four of those kind of videos in a row anyways thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time